Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Demon just got out of can. Listen. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Dub back again for another first listen. My nigga, please, ain't. Yeah. Uh, you know, Hurricane Irma has passed. I know I've been gone for like six or seven days. But you know, Irma had to prepare for Irma and whatnot and be safe, so I had to put the meme video to the side. But today, before I go into work, we're gonna listen to uh, Good For You. I know I'm about, what, two months late? But you know, what's new? I'm always late, I always talking too much. So uh, if y'all been here for the whole time, I've been doing this for a year and a half, y'all know I always get to the music rather late. But you know, better late than never, as I always say. But uh, 15 tracks we got from Amin. I've been telling y'all, I think when it came to the XXL, I always said that Amin was my favorite when I learned when I listened to that turf track and um, his freestyle. I was like, yo, he, this man got some talent if he sticks to his roots and stay away from that Caroline stuff. I liked him and I liked X. I think that you know they were both gonna be in their own lane. And I said Cardi was gonna make it somehow. I kind of regret what I said about that because you know I did a review and cozy tapes and that's a whole different shenanigan. But this man, good for you. Got an interesting album cover here. You know he's uh he's taking a number two, taking a deuce on a blue toilet, reading the newspaper, looking off out yonder. But yeah, man, we'll get right into this. Like always, been that for talking too much. Let's get right into this. We got Amin, good for you. Y'all ready? <laughs> All right, we got track one, Veggies. All right. Pass me the lighter. Oh, flame coming, so she wanna light the fire. Now I'm super tired When we get together room sound like a choir uh, I'm a true lifer Pussy made me happy And I go so I was up in the night I'm missing your call. I don't got time for your problems at all. I'm popping it all, so she popping. See now, I was not expecting him to come like that. Look, I, I, I already said when I listened to Turf, it was something that caught me really off guard. I'm, Cause Turf was. That was definitely something I not, did not expect from the young kid, man. I did not expect him to have that in his arsenal. Because, look, he gave us Caroline. And all I, honestly, I think that Caroline was just a front. Caroline was the track that, you know, he lo he knows he's smart. Because the masses love music like that right now. You know what I'm saying? And I put, put it this way. I feel like if you got real music right now, it's, it's, it's not your era, bro. Like, it's really not your era. Because nobody wants to hear... That real ish anymore, and that's 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 a one. No one is really down for the roots of hip hop. That's why you know every when when Kendrick releases something, everybody is on that because you know they they hungry. You know what I'm saying? They've been waiting for stuff like that. And um, we do have a lot of real good rappers upcoming, but the thing is, it's just overshadowed by a lot of mumble rap nowadays. That just is what it is. So when he made that Caroline track, I guess that he got his name out there, and you know what? Everybody was like, "Oh me, I like this uh, Caroline track." Built this fan base, and then you can put whatever you want out there. That's what I feel like. So this track, Veggies, right here, is another track that caught me off guard because Veggies and Turf, man, he definitely right. He's just a young kid with a 40-year-old soul in him. Kind of like me, man. You know what I'm saying? I got some soul in me, too. You know, like, I, I definitely love the soul part of music. It's something that, you know, a lot of people really don't know about me. But as you guys see me with these videos, y'all know I like some of the um, slower down music, you know? Track two, Yellow, featuring Nelly. Yeah. Now I'm better, something with my dogs, like my first name, Cruella. Black girls love me cause a nigga got some feta. But why would, I mean, wouldn't any girl like you cause you got some, some feta? Like, <laughs> if your life is happy, dreadlock nigga, so my hair is pretty nappy. Spockers give me love, love, I could give a fuck, though. Don't make We fight for ourselves, it's true. Singing on the track. I definitely like how he had Nelly on the hook singing. Not, not even rapping Nelly, singing Nelly. Um, that track right there, you know, like something upbeat. Definitely bringing it, switching it up from Veggies. You know, that was more slower classical side of him. I kind of like his demeanor, man. I like when he's bringing to the table a meme, man. It's just, like I said, he was on my radar when I, had, when I heard that turf song. I know I keep repeating it, but you can make a track like that bringing so much soul to the table. 
And I always say soulful music is timeless, man. Like, you know, like Al Green and James Brown and well, who, who else we got back in the day? Keith Sweat, Timeless. Who else we got? Michael Jackson. And all that. When you give that soul, that sound, I feel like that's just going to be timeless. You know, like that, that never goes away. Everybody's always going to vibe with it. You, you go into a, a wider audience as well. So I like what he's doing here with Yellow and Veggies. Not that bad. I mean, it's definitely a different sound because you wouldn't expect this. Because the next track coming up is obviously Caroline. And when you hear Caroline, it's just like, like, bro, like, dude, you didn't even need that track. It's kind of like that one track J. Cole made. Remember uh, Nobody's Perfect? I was just literally sitting like, man, you got so much talent, and to, for you to release a track like that, please, man, we know what you're doing. That was for the radio, man. That's what the radio, you know, we give a pass to that, so I understand. Track four is Hero. Uh, I I like how he switched it up there with the soul, but... At the end of the day, I wasn't really feeling that track. I don't know what it was. I feel like he tried to be too different right there. The, the singing definitely gave flavor to the track, but for the most part, what he was rapping about, um, you know, his overall delivery of the track, to me, just didn't do well. Smocking. Track five, Spice Girl. Boss, when she talk nothing like old girl. Scary and sporty. Tell her what I want, what I really, really want is a Spice Girl. Sick and sick and I fuck up my whole world. Pause up, it's a Spice Girl. Freaking little mama. Say she on the diet, so she on me eat bananas. Always in your prime, say your name. Like you, there's no look alive. I need a Spice Girl. Sick and sick and I fuck up my whole world. Man, that might be my favorite track on here. That flute definitely gave that 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 little sprinkle to the track, man. I feel like he kind of sounded like Chance the Rapper a little bit. Let me know if I'm, I'm just kind of pushing it. I feel like he got a little Chance influence in him. Might be a little bit better, but I'm not saying like. It's a carbon copy. I'm just saying, like, you can hear in his flow. Even when I, I think I heard, hey, hey, a couple A's in there, you know. Like, I think you're reading out of Chance's book a little bit, but at the same time, we all got influences in what we do. That's not a bad person to reference from, so uh, I'm down with it. I like, I, I definitely like Chance. I definitely feel like this is a mean thing. It's kind of got that weird vibe, kind of like how Acid Rap had. So, I mean, look, I'm digging it. I'm digging it so far. Like I said, if he kept his, free, his freestyle, and if he put it into his album, the same thing he, he did in that freestyle, I feel like... He was definitely gonna create something very artistic, and look, that's what we're getting right here. Track six, shut the f up. Every day talking, every day in my head, and every time we fighting, I gotta go and wipe your tears. Cause if I don't, you gon' know your problem. Shut the fuck up. Don't <laughs> what? Shut the fuck up. We keep locking up. Right there, that STFU. I can't say it because you know, like, they be getting on you for your curse on the YouTube. But hey, right there, shut the F up. He right, man. I felt like that was some kind of like techno dance hall. You know, it sounded like it had a little island vibe, but then at the same time, I don't know what kind of sound that was, to be honest, but I mean, he definitely made it work for him. All the different transitions in the track as well, man. He had a lot of switch ups. I definitely like what he did there. Either that one or Spice Girl, the production is on point. Like, the production is A1. He's definitely giving you a different vibe, man. Showing you he has a little weird side to him, but at the same time, he could keep it, he could give you bars at the same time. So, you know, I like what he's doing. A little bit of soul, you know, a little ex experimenting everywhere. I feel like Amin definitely 
is giving you that side of him. I mean, it's just not Caroline. And it's kind of it's kind of sad that I keep bringing it up like, oh, that he's the Caroline rapper because that's how I, I found out about him. I was like, yo, Caroline, I did not like that track. If one of those tracks, I'm just like, okay, please, just get it off the radio. Like, I don't think it's good at all. Like, why did he even make this? But the younger crowd likes it. You know, 16, 15, 17 year olds, they love that kind of, um, music and I'm just like uh oh, that didn't really do anything for me but these other tracks these other six tracks on here I definitely fire man he definitely doing his thing right here shut the f up and spice girl my two favorite tracks on here by far track seven wedding crashes featuring offset <laughs> Um, no, not one of Takeoff's worst verses, but definitely not his best. I think Amin definitely did that track. Just, you know, trying to flex on his exes there. I would not be attending your wedding saying, uh, you know, like, uh, you could have had me. I don't come up. You know, a little flex track. I can see what he did there. Something that I was not feeling, though, man. I, I appreciate the message. But the track overall was just not a great track for me. It had that kind of, the sound got kind of annoying to me. After I was listening to it a little bit, I was like, uh, okay, um, let's just hear Offset's part. That's why I really wanted it. I was like, let's just hear Offset's part. And even Offset couldn't save that track. So I think I understand what he did there. He brought Offset, you know, a big name artist um, into his album, you know, showing like, oh, we got, I got Offset on the feature. And I think that's what that track right there was, to, at least for me. Let me know in the comments below if y'all was feeling that, but to me personally, nah, didn't do anything. Track eight, Sundays. Sunday's the best day. NFL Live, baby. I woke up on this Sunday with no motivation in my body. No, whoa, whoa. For tired in my house. Take it like a movie's footy loose and standing cool, Rick. Hey. Personally, my shit was uh, my shit was a uh, Rice Krispie Treat cereal, and I used to watch Yu-Gi-Oh! And that one show with uh Jackie Chan, he had all the dragons, you know, Jackie, you know, that was my shit. That was my shit. That's what I used to do in the morning. So I kind of feel on Sunday, but that was my Saturday. So I feel we coming for that Sunday. <laughs> See man, I definitely like this man. Like I said, he does remind me of Chance a little bit, but I like I like when he gets into that soulful rap, man. He definitely speaking. Y'all y'all know what I say. Like look, I don't gotta keep repeating myself. When you speak from personal experiences and you speak from your heart and you speak what's on your mind, people are gonna respect you for that. People won't look through that. And that's exactly what he did there. He said one line, he was like, people would rather be single to see a wedding day. Shit, that's me right there. 100%. I mean, uh, what was it? Drinking Stella's, chilling with your homies. Shh, that's me right there. I feel like I mean, might be a little older. Or he might be a little younger. I don't know, but I mean, he's definitely speaking to me on that track. Definitely very relatable. All of those things that I've been through, all those things I, I, listen, I, I go through in life every day. Hey, I bench press my problems. Add, like, add on another weight. You know what I'm saying? In all honesty, you know, I feel like if it's one thing or... It's, if it's not one thing, it's another. So I feel like, you know, uh, life's trials and tribulations, we all go through things, we all gotta get through it. You know, that's just what uh, the way of life and, you know, makes the world go around. So I feel like everybody just needs, I think sometimes some people need to just reflect, you know, um, you know, sit down, really think about what you need to do and uh, how you need to handle some things and, you know, see where you are in life and, you know, just, just try to get better. I feel like a lot of people don't really, um, you know, approach their problems in a very healthy way so that's why people really make the impulsive decisions they make because they don't just take the time to sit down and you know just think and and give your mind a rest for a little bit and you know just just a, just a different approach you know that's all i'm saying track nine is turf obviously i'm gonna put it in the link below definitely one of the crazier tracks i've heard all year man that was very soulful 
Charlie Wilson coming out in the end. When I watched the video, Charlie Wilson came out the end. I did not expect him to even be in the song because there, there was no feature. And uh, Charlie Wilson was definitely a very great addition to that track. Gave it that flavor. Gave it that. It just gave it that that sorrow. You know what I'm saying? The sadness. You could feel the pain in, in Charlie's voice. That's something that Charlie's always done. And I feel like a mean. You know, being in that grocery store, he was by the fruit section. It was kind of funny. He was by the fruit section, and he's by the bananas. I, I think, what, is his favorite color yellow? Because he's always got a yellow album cover. The man just talked about bananas early in, in the um, album, and he was in a, a grocery store next to the bananas in turf. I just want to know, like, what's the correlation to that? Uh, but he definitely did his thing on there, very soulful track. He is, a, he is a young man who understands what soul is. Like, he knows what true soul is. Because you can't just make tracks like that. It's a, it's a very pa you need passion and skill to make tracks like Turf. Like you just don't come out there and be like, hmm, let's just make some soulful shit. Like nah, it don't work like that. Um, you got to have a clear understanding of how to do that. So he, Amin is one of the ones that understand in the game from that XXL uh, 2017 cover. He's probably the one artist next to probably X that understands how to make very emotional music. Because, you know, I wouldn't say that X makes soulful music. Actually, nah, there was a couple. Yeah, it's up and down, it's up and down. Track 10, Blinds. favorite color you know, yellow is the... See, it's your banana boy, favorite color you know, yellow. I, I, what's the correlation there, man? Let me know. Honestly wish that track was a little longer, man. I feel like a minute 26 didn't do it justice at all. I like the hook there. That was definitely good. He kind of reminded me too, like, I think he said he's a young Andre um, in the first track. I mean, I, I can see some Andre 3000 uh, influence in him as well. Another artist next to Chance. So, um, him being weird, yes, Andre definitely coming up, had that... We all knew Andre could rap, and then he made that transition where it was like, okay, this is very weird. What is Andre 3000 doing? It ended up working out for me, and he ended up being my favorite artist of all time next to Lupe Fiasco. So I definitely like that. Track 11, Dakota, featuring Charlie Wilson for the second time. Ooh, but it's got me empty. Only drink to mingle, cause I'm single. Wait, can you break this 20 Catch me up quick with a stitch like Lilo. See, man, to get a legend like Charlie Wilson on your album, Charlie gotta see something in you. And that's exactly what Charlie doing here right now. You hear this? You hear this, right? I feel like what y'all gotta understand is you just don't get legends like that. You know, I, I said it in the track. You just don't get legends to get on your uh, to get to feature on your album without having some kind of talent. This man Charlie Wilson is a legend. If I don't know if y'all if any of y'all don't know who Charlie Wilson is, y'all need to go back and you want to talk about some soul R and B right there. Go listen to some old Charlie Wilson. I think Charlie Wilson was making classics when some of y'all wasn't even born yet, to be honest with you. Because I remember listening to Charlie Wilson when I was like seven years old, six years old. Um, you know, just growing up, my father was definitely a very hardcore R&B fan. Like, he just liked to listen to all that slow music. That's why I got four brothers, you know, <laughs> and, and that's how I work. You know, that dude like listening to slow music, he did my dude, my dad doing his thing. I guess that's all I got to say. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, you listen to that soul shit, and, you know, you, you, you just turn to a different person, man. You, you learn to appreciate music and you learn to just vibe and, and show a different side of you. That's all I think. And I think the way rapping is now, you know, how it's leaning towards a more emotional side, emotional era, I think, you know, we get good sounding music. I mean, mixing with the soul and the rap. I mean, it's, 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 
you can't really hate on tracks like this, man. Charlie Wilson giving the vocals in the background, definitely hitting you, giving you goosebumps, man. It definitely gives you goosebumps. And just Amin, he was going in on that track. Amin was definitely doing his thing. That's probably my favorite track. That one next to Hero, I mean Hero, Spice Girl and Shut the F Up, Dakota, man. Like Dakota, and Shut the F Up, Spice Girl, Sunday's Turf, man. Like that, that's a good lineup right there, man. You could definitely turn this album on and within the next year and probably still listen to it just because it has a timeless sound. That's what I think. Track 12, Slide. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I could not take that track serious, man. I felt like I was watching like a Saria Jade hair curl tutorial, bro. Like, <laughs> I could not take that track serious. Nah, man, that, that sound is definitely not a good sound. It sounds like some kind of tutorial background track. Uh, nah, Slide is definitely a no-go for me. I, there, I will never, ever like that track. I'm telling y'all right now, no matter how many times I listen to that, it will never go on any of my playlists, ever. I'd rather listen to a loop of Cardi going, hey, okay, yeah, 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 for an hour before I listen to that track ever again. I'm just letting y'all know, that's strongly how I feel about that track. I do not like those tracks. I do not like sounds like that at all. <laughs> Real talk. Track 13, Money. Like, is this what it's made of, made of? Money rule the world around me. That's why it's on my mind. Track, if he's so broken, I don't see ya. I'm most loyal to the most loyal. No. You can't find dirt for my range, boy, not the rovers. Money <laughs> make my world go round. Money <laughs> make my heart beat. There it is again. He brought the bananas back. I I, I just need to know the correlation. If y'all I know y'all hardcore mean stands gonna know in the comments below, and y'all gonna let me know and say why he loves bananas in the color yellow so much. I need to know this because I'm kind of I'm kind of confused on why he keeps bringing up the bananas. Money definitely you know laid back vibe. Um, I mean spitting spitting just. Some very general, you know, like I, like I said, I, we are already into 13 tracks of this. Kind of sound like something we already heard um, in an earlier track in the album. I can't really think of which track it was, but it kind of just sounded like something we already heard. Wasn't a bad track. I'm just sitting there like, okay, like, you know, I'm just jamming, you know, not really like anything special to me. That's what I'm saying. Track 14, Beach Boy. I'm a yellow metal fellow and my cousin is the son. I'm a mean to my niggas and a mean to a If y'all don't know, that's from the Matrix. I know y'all are young there, so just y'all in case y'all didn't know. I think too, you know, like I like how you ended that track right there. I feel like, um, you know, when I tell people just. I always say live like live life to the fullest, man. It's it's life is too short to be angry and to be sad and to be negative and have so much hate. I uh, I like I understand sometimes you could be upset and whatnot. That's understandable. It's human nature. We're all humans. You know we have bad days, but for the most part, just live every day like it should last, man. I always enjoy it because you never know, man. That the per your best friend could be gone tomorrow. You know your parents could be gone tomorrow. Shit, your own life can be gone tomorrow. So I always say. You know, take risks, have fun, live life to the fullest, and, and just just have and have no regrets, man. Like, cause life is really, really short, man. Like, we we I, I got 14 squad members, best friends, you know what I'm saying? And we literally lost somebody this past year, and it, you know, it just made me realize, you know, we're not invincible, you know what I'm saying? Like, all this bad stuff was happening to every other uh, person. We just thought that, you know, we always gonna be here forever, man. You know, having a good time and smiling and laughing. And you know, God decided to, to to take one away from us, and that's the only way you could really bring down our squad. Because as you can see with me, I'm always usually happy and whatnot. But um, yeah, man, you know, rest in peace to Jules. And you know, I always just tell people now, just just enjoy life, just enjoy who you got. There ain't no time to be mad at your best friend. Y'all can have an argument, but be cool after 30 minutes, you know, or, or just fight it out with some boxing gloves or something. Just 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 no reason to throw away friendships. There's no reason to be angry at anybody. You know. 
you woke up in the morning and that's already a W for the day. So just always remember that, man. I always tell people that. That track right there, I could definitely appreciate for what it was. I like the transition into the slower side of the track. Just giving us two parts of his talents, man. I could definitely appreciate what Amin is doing for us. It's good for you. You're right. This is good for you. It's it's soulful and it's definitely good for your health, man. Just listen to if y'all if y'all didn't listen to this already, I know I'm late. I don't know who could be more later than me because I'm just the definition of late. If you look up late in the dictionary, it say dev. <laughs> I'm right there. But no, nah, honestly, man, if you haven't listened to this yet, man, go through it again and just just take in what he's saying. Because for the, even for the first listen, I'm sitting here just like, man, this man is speaking to me on a spiritual level, man. Like, he might be younger than me, but I mean, at the same time, we probably experienced the same things because he's definitely talking like that. And that track with... Like uh, Turf and Dakota with Charlie Wilson, man, you're gonna love tracks like that if you if you into that old school sound. Like if you like Isley Brothers and stuff like that, man. That's gonna be that's gonna be something that you're gonna really dig. So I, I, I advise you, just go listen to that again. And the last track we got is Heebie Jeebies featuring Damn, the girl that cheated on me, young Kyrie Kalani. No average, I already heard this track, man. My homegirl linked this to me. I think it was like last month she showed me. So, hey, my bad, y'all. I already heard that track. You know, I don't be lying to y'all. I'll tell y'all. I was kind of wondering. I was like, he got another track with Kalani? I didn't think about it, but that's the same track she showed me. So, I'm just saying, look, my opinion. I like what Amin did here. Definitely gave you the soulful side of him. Only tracks on here I really didn't like was Caroline, um, Hero, and Sly. Sly. I think it was Sly, was it? Those are the only three tracks I truly didn't like. They were just, I just, they're not for me. Slide, did that sound, sound like I said, sound like a, a YouTube tutorial to something. Hero was very, eh. Just didn't like what he brought to the table with that one. And Caroline is very annoying. That track right there is something I feel like he shouldn't even have on here because that is, doesn't, it doesn't fit to what he's trying to deliver to us. But at the same time, it was a very smart business move because I feel like, you know, just having that track right there, very, went, went viral, very popular. A lot of people like that, and then they become fans of a man to see what else he has to bring to the table. And they're like, oh, this man is very versatile. That's not the only thing he can bring. So I like this Good For You album, very soulful. I know a lot, of, I, I can see now why a lot of y'all was on my head about it, about um, listening to this, like, damn, we ain't got that mean yet, we ain't got that mean yet. Well, I'm sorry that Hurricane Irma hit and I had to get ready for a week. I am alive. I, bro, a lot of y'all was like, let me get that mean, and Irma was literally just blowing my shit away. Like, I, I don't understand. Like. Y'all are some savages out there, bro. So that's why I honestly, when y'all were getting a little rude about it, asking me about a meme, like expecting me that I'm supposed to do a meme, and y'all were coming at me rude, I was like, whoa, 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 let me take a step back. You know what? In all honesty, I was gonna do it like three weeks ago, but y'all wanna be rude about it? Nah, I'm gonna keep pushing it. Let that be known for future reference, man. Don't come at my head like I need to do these videos. You know what I'm saying? I do this because it's fun. I do this because, you know, I love the music. But at the same time, soon, soon as somebody get rude about it, nah, baby. Like, it wasn't just like two or three people getting rude about it, too. It was like a mass. You know what I'm saying? 300 likes on a comment rude. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, baby. That don't fly around here. No fly zone. Denver Broncos, baby. It don't fly around here. So, back to the album review, though, man. Like, I'm just saying, man. I like what he did. It's very soulful. It wasn't really caught off guard because I heard Turf and just, you know, that sound, when I saw that he could do a different sound like that, I expected that this whole album was going to be something like that. Um, when he came in the intro with Veggies and Ty Dolla Sign, like, you know, he gave us that classical sound. I'm like, all right, we're going to have something good here. Then come follow up by Yellow with Nelly. Nelly singing on the track. Spice Girls and Shut the F Up. Two tracks that I did. Oh, my bad. Wedding Crash is another track I didn't like with Offset. I thought it, that Offset didn't save it at all. Um, you know, it was just a shout out to his ex's kind of track. Like, yo, I'm flexing on you. I think it was a flex track. But Sundays brought me back. Had a little reminiscent feel there. Turf, obviously. Dakota featuring Charlie Wilson. Very soulful right there. Also Beach Boy. I like what he did there. And money, man. It was just all around great soulful tracks. I can't, I know I can't repeat it. I know I sound like a broken record sometimes, but I'm just trying to emphasize how much soul there was in this album. That's all I'm saying. But um, let me know how y'all feel in the comments below. Let me know what y'all think about the album. You know, y'all had some time to digest it. I think it's what, been two months now. It came out the end of July. So yeah, about two months. Let me know uh, if y'all felt differently from when y'all first heard it till now. This is my first time. So for the first time, I'm liking it. Uh, let's see, 11 out of 15 tracks. Not too bad. 15 tracks on here. Y'all know it right at that threshold that I like it. I don't like it more than 16. I don't like less than 11. I feel like he got right 
uh, the right amount of number of tracks on there. So it, look, it was a good album. I can't hate on y'all. I don't understand why y'all was on my head. Just don't ever come at me like that again. I'm warning y'all. If y'all been watching the video until now, put hashtag Irma under. Um, play for all my Floridians that were affected by the hurricane. I'm sorry for all y'all that were affected by it. I didn't really lose power that much. But I know a lot of um, you know my family in, in uh, Miami lost a lot of power. So if um, y'all going through the struggle right now, you know I can make y'all feel a little bit better. Thank y'all for watching the video. And uh, my prayers go out to y'all. And um, yeah, man, just letting y'all know I'm here. Ready for the grind, 100K is right around the corner. You know, I'm probably gonna do some Q and A's. Follow me on Twitter and follow me on uh, Instagram, you know, so y'all can ask me the questions and I can get them on the video and whatnot. Cause uh, we're getting really close. We're getting really close here. Probably like another month at the rate I'm going to hit 100K. But at the same time, uh, subscribers not really important to me. I really like to connect with y'all. I get the endless support from the 94,000 subscribers I got. So. Uh, yeah, man, don't forget like the video if you liked it. Don't forget to share it, all that good stuff. Uh, road to 100K, and until the next time, it's been your boy Dev. We out.